I, I would say, and I'm not trying to be cute about this, but I, I wouldn't say we chose Jeremiah. I'd say Jeremiah chose us. As we got into this book, we didn't plan to write on Jeremiah, but as we began interviewing these leaders in Haiti and Zimbabwe and listening to their stories of how they've gone through coups and they've experienced earthquakes and they've had betrayals, they all pointed to Jeremiah. And so Jeremiah was not in the initial book proposal. Jeremiah came to us through our conversations with these leaders. And, and yeah, you're exactly right, Rusty. He is a poster child for disillusionment. Uh, Barbara Brown Taylor, who's a theologian, she has this powerful quote where she says, we should take apart the word disillusionment and really look at it. And it's really disillusionment, like the loss of an illusion. And I think what Jeremiah, why Jeremiah was such an inspiring leader to the individuals that we talked to in the book is because he didn't, he wasn't buying the lies that his, his life, his work, his teaching and preaching, his leadership was going to play out the way that he would have hoped it would play out. And as you know, like he got betrayed, he was thrown in a pit to die. He was made fun of by everyone. You think about the, the arc of Israel where they were in slavery for 400 years and then the 40 years in the wilderness and then 800 years. So twice as long as they were in slavery, they experienced being in the promised land, having the walls of Jerusalem standing and being able to worship God in the temple. And Jeremiah presides over all of that collapsing. So he is the bearer of all bad news in many ways to the people of Israel and he's hated for it. And yet we have more words written by Jeremiah than any other author of any of the biblical texts. Jeremiah is the longest book in the Bible. He's, you know, one of the author, he's the author of one of the most popular verses in the Bible, which we talk about a lot in Jeremiah uh, 29, 17. So uh, yeah, it's a curious person to feature, not someone we would have chosen. I think both Peter and I would admit uh, we, we weren't like Jeremiah aficionados prior to starting this project, but we both are now. Uh, what an amazingly important prophet for us to be listening to in this moment. Mm-hmm.